the musing five-minute quickie podcast. Celebrating. What are you going to celebrate? Do you celebrate? What would happen if you did? And if you did, would you notice all good things coming to you? Would you notice how motivated you are? Would you notice how things just get better and better and better? Have a listen to my music because I think you just might like it. And then you'll celebrate with me too. Okay? Have a listen after this next little bit. Warning. 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 You are entering into the unplugged mind of Paul Clough. Clough. Too late. Personal Development Unplugged. Hey, back for another five-minute quickie and celebrating. I'm celebrating being back for another five-minute quickie. And when you celebrate, and we've all celebrated, haven't we? Absolutely, we've all celebrated. And how does it feel when we celebrate? Think of a time when you did. Go back there now. Because when you do, when you see what you saw, hear what you heard, do the old thing and feel it again. It feels bloody good, doesn't it? And when you do celebrate something for doing something really well, what happens? You want to do it again. You want to do more. And maybe you start to think about what else, what other things we can do. But how often do we celebrate? Not that often, do we? Sometimes we're reserved. We don't want to celebrate our stuff. You know, might be bigging ourselves up too much or pushing ourselves out there. You know, who am I? But you can celebrate inside. You can. So if it feels that good, why don't we celebrate? Well, there's another reason, other than bigging ourselves up. We can criticise ourselves, can't we? Because when we criticise, what happens? We say, well, it wasn't that big. Don't know why you're making such, such a big deal out of it. It was nothing, really. Yeah, it was nothing. Thing is, when you say that, whether it's outside or just that internal voice of yours, that is nothing. Well, your unconscious mind goes, okay, well, if that was nothing, I'm going to do it again. And you want to do it again because it felt bloody good. But what if you did? Just take off the shackles of, well, it wasn't that big. Take off that thing of, like, I'm bigging myself up. Do it inside. Don't just tell anybody else. Just celebrate inside. And notice that it feels so good. When I work with a client, and I know I've got done a real good job. They go, and I sit down. I give myself a pat on the back. I go, do you know what, Cluffy? We did really well there. I'm so pleased that we did. And I know then I look forward to the next client. And every client gets that pat on the back. Well, I get a pat on the back for every client because I know it just keeps growing inside me. And the enthusiasm, the motivation to do more keeps coming. So I want you to celebrate, but first of all, don't just celebrate the big wins. Because we want to do, we always learn by baby steps, don't we? Or if you don't like baby steps, we'll call them equal steps. (laughs) Because that's more adult, isn't it? (laughs) I haven't made myself. I get told off for laughing at myself, but I think it's pretty good. I'm celebrating, laughing at myself for being stupid. But no. If we could just celebrate a little step. So we've got this thing we're going to do. And we've done the first little bit. Celebrate that little win. Please with myself. Okay, it's not going to be a massive celebration and go, woo, 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 woo. But it will be a good celebration. Inside. And we can enjoy it. And what happens? We do the next little step and we celebrate again. And that just motivates us or motivates us even more to do the next little step and then the next little step because we just keep celebrating. It's called 
It's rinsing and repeating. Get that cycle going. Just get the cycle going because you'll know that it just makes sense. You really do. And and what'll happen is the more you do it, the more you feel good. What's the bloody worst that could happen is that you feel bloody good. That's all. But when you feel good and you get more motivated, you do more. And the more you do, the more confidence you get, the more competent you get. You go to the edge of the boundary and then you stretch it, you go a little bit further and you find out you can be even more. Experience even more. Have that adventure that gets more and more exciting. And I'm going to ask you a question. What stops you doing that? What stops you celebrating the little bits, the ickle steps, <laughs> the baby steps? You know, <laughs> I still love it. But what stops you? Who stops you? Well, there's only one what and one who. And that's bloody you. Because it's only inside. And inside. But I tell you what, if you do celebrate outside, and then my son's Joseph Clough's mastermind uh, group we have, and it's all about letting go of fears and anxiety and things like that too. It's a lovely mo- set of modules that just work. But we get the people who, who are participating in it to celebrate their small wins. And they celebrate on the, on the little private uh, f- Facebook page, and they get support from other people. But not only do they get support, and they make them feel really good, but that encourages and motivates other people. Well, if you can do that, I want some of that because we're all the same. We're all just human beings. We're just being human. Extraordinary people. No, just ordinary people doing extraordinary things. And you'll just, well, you'll never know how far the ripples have changed when you do that in yourself and the people around you. So please just do that. If you would, try it. Try it for seven days on the run. And notice the difference. When you look back and you go, whoa, just reviewing how I've done. Let's have a look at Cluffy's little celebration bit. Did I feel good? Yeah. Did it make me get a little bit more motivated? Yeah. Did I do more? Yeah. Did I enjoy doing more? Yeah. Could I do and have, or do I have bigger dreams now? Yeah, I do. Do I feel more confident in doing them? Yeah, I do. Do the pictures in my mind get bigger, brighter, more, more exciting? Guess what? You know, they do. So please just do that. Have fun. Make it fun. Because it is good. It just feels bloody good. And the results will be exponential, if that's the right word. Please enjoy. Please share. Please press subscribe and do whatever you need to do. And celebrate with me. And I'll celebrate with you. Even let me know by by email, feedback at personaldevelopmentunplugged.com. Even if you just celebrate with me, just so I know and I can then find out different ways to make them even better for you. Okay? Please do that. Have fun. And celebrate life. Having more fun than you can stand, as usual. Bye-bye. It's time to fly, by the way. Off you go. Warning, you are now leaving the unplugged mind of Paul Clough. It's time to fly on your own. Be brave, my friend. Personal Development Unplugged.